thing, man. She's hurt. She needs some love. I think we should give it to it. I think we need to put bigger tires, bigger forks, and a bigger motor in it. I think we will. So the GoPros have failed us again. We don't have sound. But I'll give you the gist of what's going down here. This is Graydon's old motorcycle. He's outgrown it, and he's kind of beat it up a little. This motorcycle was found at the landfill. So it has a hole in the bottom of it. We patched it. We put some new forks on it. And Graydon rode it for a long time. But he's grown up, and he's too big for it. So I think the only thing to do would be to put a bigger motor on it and make it so I can ride it around. So that's what we're gonna attempt here. We'll see if we can make it happen. Have much bike left. Here, let's set it in the vise. Maybe just clamp it right here on the, on the frame. Maybe we can clamp it right there and not ruin anything. All right, now you can take the front off and I'll pull the swing arm off. Yes, pull that off. What is this for? All right, we uh. We've done some dismantling here. There is not much bike left of this old girl. Just the frame. Now it's, now it's time to put some new parts. We've got all of this goodness over here. We've got motor, front rear ends, there's forks and rear swing arm, new plastics, gas tank. I think we got enough stuff to make a bike. Let's do her land. All right, I'm gonna need your help. Grab that bolt. Oh yeah, put it in there. So do they just sell a kit for these? All right, let's get the shock. I don't know if this will actually fit. We may have to rework how the shock mounts. I don't know. Both the bolt right in. I mean, when has Amazon ever lied to you? Okay, let's do it, Land. I think we're gonna have to remove the brake. Um, it should just go under it. I think it's gonna. Put that bolt in. Okay, put it in. Get the other one on the bottom. This one goes through your way. Get a hammer, hold the back of this. Motor's in. That was. That was pretty painless, right? Get a, let's get some nuts for that. There you go. Okay. Well, that was pretty easy to put a 125 on a this 50. This is a clutch. I'm aware. Yeah, this thing's a, this will be a real dirt bike when we're done. I will ride wheelies and crash. <laughs> Just wait and see. I will do both of those, guaranteed. You and Ben on the pink, like the pink four-wheeler? Oh yeah, Ben can eat it on this. I guarantee he can. <laughs> we're, uh, we're just figuring some stuff. We have a sweet exhaust pipe. We'll show you that here in just one second. We're just getting our sweet carburation system put on. Get a little ratchet, Landon. All right, now we've got to figure out these bolts. They're just, they're just way too long. I'm pretty happy with that. Carburetor's on. They about plugged my inlet clear off. We may have to take and hog that out a little so it breathes. This thing is a fire-breathing monster we're building. This exhaust is way lighter than the one that came off of it probably means there's less exhausting in there. Do you think this is just like a, just go around it and it clamps there? I mean, I think. Okay, exhaust is on. Will it sit there now? 
All right, up until this point, it's been fairly simple, easy build, but things just got complicated. These are my triple clamp bearings. They're the same size as this, basically. So, what I'm going to attempt here, where this step is, can you see that step in there? There's a step right here. I'm gonna try to cut that off right at that step. Then, I'm gonna take, clean it all off, put a piece of pipe over that, weld it around it, and this will slide down in it and work just dandy. You just wait and see. That's actually pretty square. Well, maybe not so square. One half inch. Cut that off. All right, we got one piece built. I'll show you. It's gonna be hot. Gonna set on there like that. I just gotta cut this off right there strategically now. And then we'll figure out the bottom. All right, we got them. Now we'll go cut the frame apart. Sucker on and we'll see if we did this properly. That's gotta come off the back. Hold this thing. Should probably put the bearings in there. I like it. Where can I ground on this frame? Oh my, that's not gonna work. All right, triple clamp. Jeez, no, triple clamp's fixed, so another one down. All right, we're uh, we're getting some bearings greased up. Bearings are a skosh warm. Here, go set that back over there on the shelf. Got me a rag, please. So it goes like that. Okay, hold this bike, man. Grab us an Allen. All right. We're missing a a bolt. I don't think it would be in there. Is there any Allens in there? Um, there's hardly no Allens in there. Well, I mean there is, but they're not the same size as that. Actually, feels pretty pretty sanitary. Yeah, I like it. Okay, set it on the ground real quick. <laughs> Lift that up. Where's level? Probably like that. All right, we're gonna have to figure that out. A shock mound of some sort. Give me a screwdriver right there. Lift it up one. Okay, set it down. It's probably gonna work okay. We'll just have to figure out some mounts right there for that. That thing's tall. Yeah. She's a ripper. That one. Are pit bikes supposed to look like that? Yeah. Well, then we're winning. I mean, Hunter should know he owned one. I did. Did it set this hole? Mm-hmm. All right, I guess that's what they're supposed to look like. Mine might have been a little bit smaller. All right, set it back up here. Let's figure. All right, so the kickstand is kind of irrelevant, but it won't fit. So I'm gonna unbolt it real quick and cut it off. All right, we're figuring some brakes out here. I'll have this figured out yet. Man, we're helping with this. Yeah, come around here, Lan. Just grab hold of the tire. Jace has, can you see how the tire goes in there? Let's hold it somewhat where that works. Oh, come on. All right, I think we've got brake on it. We got her, thank you, sir. Now all we gotta do is the hard part, the shock. Still dreaming that up. They said it was gonna be easy when I, when I thought this project up. 
tomorrow. We're back at this thing. We got to get this little bike all finished up so that Graydon's got something to rip around on. We got all the parts bolted together that would just bolt together. Now we've got to do the building part of it. This shock bracket needs to be back here. So I got to build something that comes off and down right here where all of this ties in so it's tough. I don't know how to do that yet, but I'll get back to you when I do. We've stared at this thing for a while. We're gonna get serious here. Basically, I gotta cut these two bars out of the way so that the shock can come up into there. That's what we're gonna do. All right, that's out of the way. Now I guess I cut that portion out and move it down. We'll do that. I need a new blade. Close. We'll straighten that up, put it back on there, and then we'll build a backbone down to it. All right, now we gotta let it to the height that we've currently decided. Somewhere right there. Yeah. Pretty close, I think. That will clear all that needs cleared. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that will be just fine. We'll weld that back into the spine and then I'll make a piece that hooks to there, to there. And we'll weld that in. And then the rear suspension's handled. And then we'll build these bars back to support the seat again. Then I think we can start putting plastic on this thing, get some steering stops made. I need the steering to stop so it doesn't break my tank. Then we'll adjust the front forks and get them set where we want. And we're race ready. This thing's going to be making noise. I think the thing should have suspension right now. We should be able to let this down. Oh, and it's setting. She's cush like two kush. We're gonna have to crank that shock. Yeah, it looks like a low rider right now. Yeah, we're gonna a have to chopper. crank that shock to the moon to get it. Probably grind those all up while we got that off. How far do you crank it down? It was soft before, so this is, well, I knew it squished an inch at least. Oh. So I'm gonna give it a couple to make it a little, a little stiffer. Oh yeah, we're good. Should be ripping. That doesn't bottom out. Should still have some little jump. Does that look dumb? Does it look about right? Oh, it looks good. I think so too. I think we uh, continue on. All right, so we went and got the original rear swing arm. We're gonna use that piece right there. All right, let's see what these look like. Like we meant it to be like that. That's cool, then we'll cut, show you. We'll cut this and weld it back to it. We'll put that back in where it goes, like that. And then we'll just take and cut it off here and here and weld them together and that'll work perfect. I think if we cut that off right there, That'll do it. We'll have that little bend and that'll really work. I think we've, we've got it. We'll tack this all together and weld it in there and build the other side. I have to pull that shock out to finish it, but that's the gist of one of them. All right, I think the, oh, I gotta build the backbone still, but Suspension pretty much dialed in now. We're good to go. This is all welded up. We'll let it cool down. I'll build this piece really quick and then I think we're on to putting controls on this thing. So we're getting there. All right, we've got the finishing touches on this backbone. We'll get it welded in and then start putting this thing together. fall off. It'll be there. Something ain't happy in there. I don't know what it is. I did something wrong. I'll redo that. We're pretty much done with this for the night. So 
I took the carburetor top off to put the throttle cable in. I lost this little tiny clip that holds the needle valve in. I don't know where it went. The shop floor is pretty clean. We can't find it. It's gone. So this is as far as we're going to make it today. The bike's coming along. It has some suspension. I think old Grader Tater's going to be able to ride this thing. So, yep. But next time we'll fire it up. We'll take it for a rip, show you what she'll do. So thanks for watching.